place here in Port Townsend the first morning of the show. The gates haven't even opened yet. and uh, We just had a pretty good night's sleep on an old houseboat from 1909, Lotus here. And we're just coming up the beach, grabbed a cup of coffee. It's pretty incredible to be a part of this whole scene out here. Walking the docks here, there's so many great boats, it makes your head spin. So you got these incredibly traditional long boats, the whole Sam Devlin corner of the festival with these kind of modern power cruisers. 120 foot Pacific Grace fishing schooner. Big boats, little boats, little pocket cruisers to big schooners, it's all here in Port Townsend. feet of micro tug love. This is the uh, big gaffer alley here at the show. We're just gonna have a walk down. It's a 113 year old Bristol Channel pilot cutter. Check this thing out. It's just got this amazing helm seat back here with its own cockpit. Just a really kind of high performance, very ultra traditional little day sailor. There's lots of great wooden boat shows, but it's the atmosphere of this one that makes it so unique. This isn't just a boat show, it's truly a festival. Where you can get aboard your favorite boats, talk to owners, learn from the experts. It's a three day celebration of wood on the water. I built this morning with my dad. If your shrouds are slack on the lurid side, actually flopping loose, this is now capable of shock loads, which means fasteners, hull, keel, garboard, everything wears out faster. We're launching a new boat here. She's gonna put it through its paces and show you guys about 10 different rolls. The point of forking the boat, as Jeff said, was to get, not to make the boat watertight, but to make the boat rigid. The Wooden Boat Festival was awesome. It is easy to see how since it began in 1977, the festival has become part of the fabric of Port Townsend and the entire Northwest boating scene. And for anyone who's into wooden boats, this is the place they want to be. I will be back next year for sure.